The species known as the Ewok is legitimately one of the most terrifying species in the entirety of Star Wars lore. Their ability to destroy the Empire and to fight off the stormtroopers in Return of the Jedi was legendary, but what those troopers experienced that day was a fate far worse than what anybody suffered on the battle station above them. The terror that they faced that dreadful night, the night where the Ewoks came to hunt. Greetings, students and scholars of the Force, and welcome back to the Archives. Today, we will be delving into one of the most terrifying species in all of Star Wars, one of the most unassuming and famous. And if you're curious, the answer is yes, the Ewoks do in fact eat people. So without further ado, let us begin and discuss exactly what makes the Ewoks one of the most vicious species in all of Star Wars, their terrifying golden god, and the terrible fate of the stormtroopers after the Battle of Endor. Our story today comes from Legends Continuity and is Star Wars Tales number 14, Endor Apocalypse. Our story begins in a bar with a patron there that claims to be a former stormtrooper, someone who thought very highly of Lord Vader. The stormtrooper even remarks a single time that Lord Vader said that he was proud of his squad, and even though they allowed the Falcon to escape Hoth, Vader said that the squad tried their best. However, he would later go on to execute half of them. The Stormtrooper reminisces about how things were great under the Empire, how they had mastered what true strength was meant to represent. That was until the Empire met the Ewoks. This Stormtrooper was at the Battle of Endor. Across the bar, another patron, presumably a bounty hunter, comments on what the Stormtrooper is talking about, saying, how could the Empire possibly have lost to these fuzzy teddy bears? The Empire had blasters, walkers, the finest technology that the galaxy had to offer, the finest weaponry, and yet, the Ewoks decimated them. The man comments about how the stormtroopers became the laughing stock of the galaxy after Endor, and questions how they could have possibly lost to the cute little teddy bears. But the stormtrooper's reply is chilling. He says, that is exactly what we thought about them. At first, the stormtrooper flashes back to Endor, saying that he knew that the culture was primitive, that they should have been no threat to the greater empire. The stormtroopers were not worried or concerned about the Ewoks in the slightest. The stormtrooper goes over first contact, when the Ewoks emerge from the jungle, offering the stormtroopers some flowers, offering them peace. However, the stormtroopers immediately turned their blasters on the Ewoks, mowing down as many as possible, claiming that the true purpose of the flowers was to block the barrels of their guns. Everything was fine and quiet on Endor until the night came, and the Ewoks began picking off the stormtroopers one by one, laying traps all around their camp, hanging them from nooses, dragging them away into the night. The squad was terrified. All around them, Ewoks were picking off their brothers one at a time, disappearing. All they could hear was their screams echoing through the endlessly dark abyss that was the forest. And with the stormtroopers, an eerie thought entered their minds. What exactly is happening with our brothers out there? Are the rumors true? Do the Ewoks truly eat people? The stormtroopers huddled together in absolute fear all of them hypothesizing why the Ewoks would possibly be murdering them one at a time. They begin to hypothesize that this is a ritualistic killing, that by eating them, that the Ewoks were taking their spirits into themselves. And that's when the drums begin, the maddening drums of the Ewoks, marking the death of the Empire. All through the night, the drums ring, and when the sun finally rose, they found one of their troopers, a trooper by the name of Kovac who had indeed been eaten by the Ewoks, his helmet and what was left of his body placed in a puddle on the ground. On the second night, one of the stormtroopers had absolutely lost it. Grabbing his repeating charge blaster, he ran into the jungle, firing aimlessly at whatever moved, firing blindly into the night. When he was out of ammo, slowly from the darkness, the man would see eyes. What happened to the trooper is unknown, all that is known is that he was never seen again. The next day though, some hope was brought to the Empire. Lord Vader had arrived on Endor, informing the squad that they would now be attacking the rebel forces. The stormtroopers were elated. Finally, they had something to fight. But as they ventured through the jungle, things only got worse. 
they soon discovered that it had been laced with booby traps of all sorts. Deep holes in the ground had been dug with spikes. Arrows flew through the trees. Rocks crushed troopers. Not only were the stormtroopers being executed, but they were being executed in brutal fashion. Fear spread through their ranks like a plague, and the Ewoks never relented, swinging from the trees with spears, impaling troopers through the neck, back, wherever they could get them. As the rest of the squad ran, screaming, they left behind a sole trooper. The trooper that we now find in the bar. Just as he was about to be executed by a group of Ewoks, a rebel soldier emerges from the trees, telling them that the battle is over and to spare the life of the trooper. The trooper, however, said this. One thing kept me going all these years later, all that time after Endor, through all the bad dreams that chill me to my feet. You know what it is? It's that while I never had a good night's sleep since Endor, at least I can take comfort in the fact that when 30 billion tons of metal explodes in the lower atmosphere of a small moon, it's only got one place to go. Switching back to the bar, the patron says this. That is a myth. Everyone knows most of the Death Star simply vaporized. The rebel fleet intercepted the rest of the wreckage, to which the stormtrooper says, oh, they did. Well, oh. Indicating that this all could have been a lie, or perhaps it is reality. Perhaps the Ewoks really are as brutal as we all think. But what about the Ewoks culture? Do they truly eat people? Not a lot is known about the Ewoks in the galaxy. They are regarded as primitive. However, what was shocking about them was just how skilled of warriors they truly were. They were precise, disciplined, inventive, ruthless, and have even been described as masters of warfare. They tormented the Imperials in the night, mastering psychological warfare as well. This is what truly defeated the Empire, the mind games that went on. And in the morning, the Ewoks found out that they had ritualistically devoured their friends, taking their spirit, their strength, their energy into themselves, absorbing it. They were going to do the same thing in Return of the Jedi had they not been saved by the Golden Protocol droid C-3PO, who they believed was their god, who they referred to as the Golden One. If you want to know something truly disturbing about the Ewoks, in Shattered Empire No. 1, there is an exchange between two rebel soldiers at the celebration of Endor, in which one of them says, I don't know what I'm eating, but I think I'll have another. While it is not clear, the dark twisted joke is that the rebels are actually partaking in eating stormtroopers that the Ewoks prepared for them following Endor. And in the canon Star Wars novel, Star Wars Aftermath, there is this passage about the Ewoks. Some of them are faceless, nameless, to him at least, but others he knows, or he knew. There, the flesh-faced officer Kirk Lorman, good kid, eager to please. He joined the Empire because that's what you did. Not a true believer, not by a long stretch. Not far from him, Captain Blevins, definitely a true believer himself, a froth-mouthed braggart and a bully. His face is a mask of blood. And then you have Sinjir, is glad to be the one that is dead. Nearby was a young woman. He knows her face from the mess, but not her name. And the insignia rank on her chest has been covered in blood. Whoever she was, she's nobody now. Much for the forest food for the native Ewoks, just stardust and nothing. The more we learn of the Ewoks, one thing becomes terrifyingly clear. What they did to the Imperials that day was brutal, and it stuck with them forever. These are stormtroopers that have seen war. Many of them, war is all that they have known for the past few years. So the fact that these teddy bears shook these hardened soldiers to their core speaks to how terrifying their interactions really were with the Ewoks, and how they didn't want to end up like so many of the other troopers, eaten ritualistically in order to consume their spirit and their strength. The Ewoks are without a doubt one of the most terrifying species in all of Star Wars lore, and on the surface, you wouldn't really believe it. But anyway, friends, what are your thoughts on the Ewoks? And what are your thoughts on Apocalypse Endor? As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching the channel. Hit that like and subscribe button, and may the force be with you.